Now, ever since Mav hit the scene in battle rap, he showed us he had no problem with getting physical from his fight with Dose, punching Sirius Jones in the face, and even his fight with Disaster. Now, in this video, we're going to get into a few situations Mav was in, and we're going to call this the Brooklyn Bully. Now, according to Mav Hoffa, he'll get into a fight at the age of 15 with another dude that seems to be a bully. Now, even though the guy he was fighting had a razor, Mav wouldn't back down and even told him he was going to beat him up, even though he had a weapon. Now, according to Mav Hoffa, while he was fighting this guy, his mother would come outside while the two was in the middle of getting it on. We got wrapped up. My mom's came outside. She saw what was going on. Now, while these two were in a tangle, Math would eventually have but the guy he was fighting and this dude would drop the razor he had. Now supposedly Math will hit this guy with a three piece combination and he'll hit the floor. I don't know where I got this three piece combination <laughs> from. It was legendary. Now when he get up, he'll grab Math half of moms by the arms telling her to tell Math to chill out. Now Math then will push his moms out of harm's way and square up with this guy once again. Now at this point when he squared up with the guy, he realized that he was cut, and at this point, Math said he blacked out and supposedly beat the guy so bad he had to go to the hospital. I'm going at it with him, and I felt some wet drip off my chin, and I just saw red after that. Now, in the DVD era, battle rap played a big part of the culture, made popular mainly by Smack DVDs, where you got a chance to see underground videos for some of your favorite hip-hop artists. And at the end of the DVD, they have a battle from two up-and-coming rappers trying to get some exposure and make a name for themselves. Now, one person who became very popular in the DVD era for battling on Smack would be Murder Mook from his battle with Loaded Lux, Party Yardy, Jay Mills, or even Sirius Jones, and whether you felt he won or lost these battles, he still became the most famous battle rapper and is still looked at as the face of battle rap till this day. Now as battle rap started to become a big thing, there would be a clip that go viral before going viral was even a thing. Now that clip that would go viral would be Mav Hoffa swinging on Philly rapper Dose for getting too close in his face and starting a big brawl. Now this altercation alone would have Mav become very popular in battle rap which would lead to a battle with T-Rex who Mav was originally expecting to battle the day he battled Dose and ended up swinging on him. Now this battle between T-Rex and Mav Hoffa would be the launch to smack you are L League and during the promo for this battle, it'll be a lot of back and forth between Math Crew NYB and T Rex Crew Dot Mob. Now, one of the situations with Dot Mob and NYB going back and forth that a stand out would be Dot Mob member Louis the Thirteen making allegations towards Math Manhood. I saw a he hey, she because I don't know what it was with an I Love Math Hoffa T-shirt on. Now, after that video was released. Mad for running to Louis the Thirteen and have him apologize on camera for getting him caught up in them accusations. Okay, he's apologizing. Okay, he's apologizing. Now, Math and T-Rex would eventually battle each other, and even after the battle, it still would be tension in the air between the two crews. Now, supposedly, while the tension was still in the air because Mook didn't want to battle Math, a fight would break out in SOBs with Math and Murder Mook. And supposedly, Mav half a pistol with Murder Moot during the fight. Now, this situation was talked about in plenty battles, and Cortez, the battle rapper, even said he's the one who passed the gun to Mav, the pistol with Murder Moot with. See what y'all niggas mad I passed at the Mav, which I was all shot? Well, tell Tay Rock it was the realest line in a battle, whether I lost or not. Now, Mav Hoffa would speak on his whole situation in his battle against Calico, who brought this whole situation up in his battle against K Sean. Did he catch the move on the block and went <laughs> on his top? Now, being that Murder Mook supposedly was the victim in this whole situation, I kind of lean towards his story and feel like his story is more factual. Now, he speaks about this in his battle against Iron Solomon. And he says basically he was jumped by Math and one of his homeboys, and he basically held it down. If you won fighting two and one of them got the gun and you still getting busy, they don't knock you down, you don't run, you don't get shot, have to go to the dot, then you won. Now, after the whole altercation with Math and Murder Mook, it's rumored that Math was in a clothing store in Harlem. And Math will be jumped by some guys on behalf of Murder Mook. Do y'all want to know how bad they said that Math got pounded on? They said they hit that so many racks of clothes. When they was finished, he had a whole new outfit on. 
Now, the back and forth between Math and Murder Mook wouldn't last too long, and these two would actually squash their beef and do a freestyle video together for Ted Smooth. What's up? What's up? You tell me. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, nah, nah, nah. We ain't doing that here. Now, Murder Mook's cousin T-Rex would be on my expert opinion with Math, and they spoke about their past issues and run-ins. And Murder Mook himself was on my expert opinion about three times, and Math and Murder Mook actually appeared on Drink Champs together, so it seemed like whatever problems they had was well behind them. But Murder Mook and Math would fall out again after Math felt like Murder Mook purposely didn't battle him on Drake's URL card. And this is what Math had to say about it. Mook Lux, let's keep it a hundred. Y'all niggas for me. <laughs> Y'all niggas with me. And I've always known that. So basically, Mav feel like Murder Mook and Loaded Lux really don't rock with him because he ain't come up with them in Harlem. And he's an outsider being that he's from Brooklyn. Now, as the DVD ever was making a transition into the internet blog sites like WorldStarHipHop.com, I'll be introduced to the Philly rapper Tone Trump. Now, around 2009 and 2010, Tone Trump would be heavy on Sub-Zero DVDs, who had the DVD game on lock at the time. And he also was dropping videos on WorldStar back-to-back, -back, creating a buzz for himself. Now, Tone Trump wasn't the most lyrical and most talented artist out of Philly at the time, but he definitely was consistent and entertaining. Now, after years of grinding, Young Jeezy would jump on Tone Trump's street single in 2011 and would eventually sign the Young Jeezy CTE record label in 2012. But Tone Trump being signed to Young Jeezy would be shortly lived because Tone Trump thought it would be best if he wasn't signed to another rapper. I don't want to be in a situation where I have a rapper over top and what I'm doing anyway. I don't want to be under none of the greats. I want to compete with the greats. But before Tone Trump was signed to Young Jeezy and his rap career take off, he'll find himself in a back and forth with Mav Hoffa. Now, during Math Hoffa battle with T-Rex on the URL, T-Rex had mentioned Tone Trump in one of his rounds and basically say, I'll call Tone Trump and all my bulls from Philly. They'll give you dumb dumbs just for talking silly. Now, Math will rebuttal T-Rex saying basically he on some Tone Trump shit, foolery with the jewelry. You know, basically saying T-Rex jewelry is fake like Tone Trump. Now, I'm not sure if that was an on-the-spot rebuttal or it was just a coincidence that both of them mentioned Tone Trump in their rhymes. But nevertheless, that line of started back and forth with Math and Tone Trump. Now, in the blog, Tone Trump will respond to Math lines by saying, he ain't on my level. I bet he won't have a paid show in Philly. Don't got time for bums ninjas. Now, Math will also respond to Tone Trump with a track saying, he'll smack the shot of Tone Trump. Now, it will be a few more back and forth jabs by Math and Tone Trump. Then they eventually run into each other in person. Now, Tone Trump and Math will run into each other at SOBs in the city. And supposedly it's said that Math approached Tone Trump when he got off stage from performing and slapped him, which turned into an all-out brawl. One thing that I did respect is he came to me. The one thing I always respected is he bored it. He bored it. Now, Math NYB member and battle rapper Cortez, who was there when the whole situation went down, had this to say at an interview with ForbesDVD.com. Oh, he slapped out of Trump. <laughs> he slapped fire out there. Cause you, we was all fighting out there. Now, according to Cortez, after Math smacked Tone Trump, there'd be a little brawl that happens. Now, when Tone Trump was asked about the situation during his Queen's Flip interview, he never denies being slapped by Mav, but he also let it be known that he put up a fight as well, and he also feels like he won this whole situation. Now, Tone Trump even goes on to say that Mav is not being completely honest with the whole situation, and he's spinning a narrative of what really happened. Now, I guess this whole situation is far behind these guys, and it's water under the bridge. You know, Tone Trump is living very righteous as a Muslim brother. And, you know, Math is doing the whole My Expert Opinion podcast, which is very successful on YouTube right now. Now, like I said, when I touch on these stories, it's not to throw fuel on the fire. It's actually just to entertain y'all with these old hip hop stories and actually show you how much these artists involved with these situations has grown. Because most of the stories I touch on, either the artists squash their beef or they move on from it without anybody being seriously hurt. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend and tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'm out. One.